then they're off. 12 teams, regional winners from across the country, working against the clock to get their radio-controlled race cars in tip-top shape for the first race at the national finals of the 1080 Student Racing Challenge, NASCAR STEM Initiative in Kannapolis, North Carolina, near Charlotte. Students are competing for the championship win. Every time you go around, this will count your lap, so it'll go right down to the uh, thousandths of a second. Students in grades 6 through 12 use principles of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, to build and race their cars just like NASCAR. I really enjoy it because I've always liked solving problems and building things, so this is and I'm really into cars, so this is like my favorite project. This initiative with the 1080 Group is instrumental in establishing you know, a path of knowledge and lighting a spark uh, with students at a very young age to get them excited about the STEM topics. 1080's Coalition of Engineers and Educators provide a STEM program and curriculum to schools, after school clubs, and camps to get students excited about STEM and the many real life applications in life beyond high school. 1080 recently partnered with the U.S. Army, aligning with its other initiatives in supporting and mentoring our nation's youth through education. The U.S. soldiers that come to these events embody such emotional strength, they embody physical strength, and they're a brilliant role model for these students with whom we're working. Come on, everybody give a good round of applause so we can get this party started. All right, Anson, go, you're on the clock. Celerity, go, you're on the clock. Douglas. That's nice, nice turn. The competition embraces many of the same ideals that make the U.S. Army successful. Elements like technology and teamwork. At the 1080 competitions, the, uh, the ideas of teamwork, uh, problem solving, and camaraderie that, uh, that are here are the same ideas that make the, uh, the Army successful. Let's see who has your stuff ready. If you can make it the whole 10 minutes on one battery, you'll be doing good. Oh, spot that going like the top. Currently, two minutes into this race. A full day of intense race heats included a pit stop challenge and 45-minute endurance race. Students' creative and critical thinking, engineering, and alternative energy projects were put to the test. A table full of awards, including the top prize, on the line. And here it is. The first place for today. Overall, everything well done. And congratulations go to... Mesa from our alternative school. Students from the Math, Engineering, Technology, and Science Academy at R.L. Turner High School in Carrollton, Texas won the 2012-1080 National Finals. But win or no win, students say they walk away with much more. Life lessons and knowledge they will carry with them for a lifetime. Reporting for the U.S. Army, I'm Marianne Razook.